and a very good afternoon to you all. A good morning. I hope you are well. Start of the new week, 17th of May already. Where, where's the month going? Where's, where did the weekend go? Gosh, what a weekend, eh? Did you have a good time? Did you do any crafting? Let us know. Let us know throughout the show. But if you are new to us, then my name is Craig Laird. Now, I'm with you Monday to Friday for an hour and a half. And what we get to do, and I say we because I always have someone special with me by my side, we get to showcase uh, some of the things coming up throughout the day on Crafters TV. What it also means, we get to interact live with you guys as well. So any questions, any talking points that we're going to pick up on, then of course you can do. You can get social. We'll go on about that in a moment. You can email things in. There we go. There's the social. So if you want to get social with us, then you can then go onto Facebook or of course on YouTube and you can uh, be saying good morning. I can see many of you are already popping up saying morning or afternoon, depending where you are. So you can of course get social in those ways. But if you do want to as well, well, I know we'll go over just shortly the email address if you want to send some pictures in. But with it being Monday, what it does mean, it means that we have got Wake Up Call, which we are. It means we've got Monday Makers. We'll go over that in a moment. But we've also got a launch. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. We have got a launch. But do you know what? Before we even go into that, I tell you what, let's uh, back by my side once again nice and refreshed, although he was working yesterday. This is our first time uh, working together this week. And Joe's back. Oh, uh, Joe. How are you, Craig? I'm uh, doing good. I've missed being here with you. Did you have the, the loveliest of long weekends? I, I, yeah, I did. Yes, uh -huh, I did. Okay. A, bit of, uh, a bit of crafting and uh, a bit of chilling. And so it was nice. It was fine. But it's Two good to be back. Two tequilas are here as well. Like, let's, <laughs> let's just say there was a reason I kind of made Saturday as my, mm, uh, as my day off. Yeah. But do you know what? We won't, we won't dwell on that. No! Mm. We, 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 no, we won't. Oh, okay, we won't. Yes, hashtag last man standing. Anyway, uh, yeah, it's going to be an amazing day today. Absolutely loads coming up. I love Mondays. I think it's a really great, you know, a lot of people say, oh, Monday. Uh, but it's always great on a Monday because it's the start of a brand new week. We can leave everything that happened last week in the past. And we've got a brand new week. But we're kicking it off really with a very special day because it is international baking day <laughs> who does not love baked goods do you know someone that loves baked goods and is excellent at making them as well is the queen of crafts companion herself sarah so in this show uh, she is going to be uh, teaching you guys how to make her famous cheese scones or scones the debate is out but over on social media we would love to know what you love to bake crafters tv on facebook crafters companion on youtube make sure you hit subscribe and also do you want to send us pictures of your baked goods because we want to see them studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk that's studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk there is loads coming up today craig isn't there but also really jam-packed week see what i did there jam you did jam-packed you did do, do you like a bit of jam on some mm. scones? Mm. <sighs> Maybe need to make some. Anyway, right to you. So what we've got coming up. So coming up at 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time or 7 a.m. Pacific time. What you have got is you have got your shinazari. Shinazari, have I said that correctly? Mm, this nearly. Is shin, shinwazari. Yes. Yeah. This is it. We've got there in the end. This is our nature garden. Shinazari. Shin. <laughs> This is going to be fun. The <laughs> Nazare collection. This is 59 elements and your 48 sheets of your 12 by 12 paper pad. So this is your £54.99 here in the UK. $89.99 for you guys stateside. It is a launch day, so every single one of you are getting that saving at the bottom of your screen. Of course, if you're in Club Inspire, you'll be paying even less than that. Now, not only is it your 12 by 12 paper pad, what you've also got is you have got your, it's all your die cut stickers that are in there, the little toppers. You've got your background die, embossing folders, stamping dies. These make the most gorgeous cards that you're going to be given to your friends or family. Lots of different looks. Wait until you see the samples on these ones. Our design team have absolutely gone way and beyond when it comes to these ones here. So that's going to be with Sarah and Joe, as uh, we pointed out right at the very start there, 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time. Then what's going to happen is I'm going to come back at the end of the day and we're going to be doing Monday Makers, myself and Joe. Now, we did have these on last Monday Maker Show, 
but I asked if we could get them on again for this show. These are always a popular set to have. Now, when it comes to your crafting elements, you do always like to have sentiments. Now, within these ones here that you can see with on your screen right now, you're getting the six packs. Now, in each one, you're getting five dies, but you give the ability to be able to interchange your sentiments. Working well with lots of different things. We've got lots of different card stocks on the show as well. And that's part of the reason why I really want to have them back on again uh, this week. So if you have missed your chance before, there has been craft alongs done in the past on Crafters TV on YouTube. This is your interchangeable die collection. 30 elements in total. $74.95 for you guys here in the UK. $84.75 for you guys stateside. Of course, if you are across in Europe, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .e you that's going to be your place to go to get them into your basket which I will say now I don't know for sure but what I will say is I very much doubt that these interchangeable sentiments are going to last much longer because they are always a popular uh, collection because they're so useful to have because you can use the sentiments on their own as well then what we're going to be doing because then you can start to incorporate your interchangeable sentiments with what we're away to show you next and that is our handbag collection. This is our vintage handbag card making collection. Now you're getting ribbon and you're getting foam pads in this set here. Now if you're new to anything like this, think of these as like your hunky dory. Now they're not hunky dory, but think of them as they are the die cut. So all that you need to do is just pop them out of the uh, pad at the come in and you start to assemble your own little handbags. Lots of different looks and ways that you can get creative with these ones. You are getting a jam packed full pack we'll show you them just shortly as well 24.99 here in the uk 29.95 for you guys stateside maybe you don't want to use them as a concept card handbag you might want to pop them on the front of maybe one of your chinoiserie paper pads or maybe you want to add one of these interchangeable sentiments all three sets that we're going to be highlighting on wake up call will work beautifully together or individually so that is your preview as to what's coming up. Monday Makers being 7 p.m. here in the UK, 2 p.m. Eastern Time or 11 a.m. Pacific Time. So I can already see at the corner of my eyes your comments are flooding through. So while I go over to the other side, get myself sorted with our first demonstration, Joe's going to be having a little bit of a read as to what you're saying already on this uh, Monday. Yeah, absolutely. Loads of people tuning all over. I thought we would just listen to how Google wants us to say it. Should we go with that? I feel it would be a good that. starting point because I can't say it. I know Sarah's struggling with it as well. You ready? Shinwazuri. Once more. Shinwazuri. And it'll even touch us to learn how to pronounce it as well, Craig. Are you ready? Shinwazuri. Once more for you at home, for those people in the back. Shinwazuri. Now we all know. I know, public service broadcasting from us here at Crafters TV. Uh, loads of you uh, are tuning in from all over. Patty Redmond says good morning from Michigan. Sue is in Chestertown, Maryland. Uh, Michelle's in Pennsylvania. Shadai says good morning, Prince Joe. And Hottie Scotty Craig from Ottawa, Canada. And hello to those in the gallery. It's George Squared in the gallery today. Uh, they're saying hello. Um, Diane's in Finks Finksburg, Maryland. Love the name of that place. Uh, Marcia's in Ohio. Ohio, Marcia. Uh, Janet's in from Pennsylvania. Uh, Linda White says, good morning. I'm enjoy enjoying my return. It my burp. I'm enjoying my retirement and being able to watch CCTV. Hannah Hicks says, good afternoon. I have a lovely week off and intend to spend it with CTV and all of you lovely peeps. What a treat for you and us, Hannah. And Aisha, uh, Aisha is saying hi as well. I hope you had a great weekend. Hi, Joe and all the crew. Hope everyone is having a great start to their day. We are uh, and uh, we have got uh, the loads, loads coming up. I love this show, Craig, on a Monday because it's like we sort of get to look ahead, don't we, to the week coming. And there is so much stuff coming up today and also this week as well. Um, also, Monday, you know what that means. Oh yeah, get it, got it, good. It's a brilliant one this week as well. Three of your most popular paper pads you're looking at. Uh, the Positivity card pad, the Farmhouse paper pad, a recent launch, and also Best of British 2. Uh, the brilliant thing here is that you are getting a freebie within there as well. So you're buying two, you're getting one free, 34.98. If you are in the UK, 41.93 if you're in the US as well. Platinum members there save 19.99, which is the cost of the most expensive pad 
best of British one, which I think is absolutely awesome. Uh, but Craig, the time has come, hasn't it, for the, I, I won't do it again on Google, uh, the Chinoiserie uh, is uh, coming up today. So much excitement for this. I'm ashamed to say though, Craig, I have forgotten my kimono. Joe. I believe you did say yesterday on Crafters TV you were going to bring it in, didn't you? I Are said you on my last day I'd, I'd bring it in, but I forgot it. I won't lie. Oh, it slipped my mind. Dear. Oh, oh well. no, 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 no. I'm sure there's go Well, actually, I was about to say, I'm sure there'll be plenty of occasions for you to bring it in. Who knows? Very quickly to pick upon it as well, Freebie Frenzy is still going on. So, of course, you can shop uh, the rest of the shows for today on our website. And uh, have a look at the Freebie Frenzy because within each bundle, you're going to be getting something free. So, worthwhile checking out. There we go. Have a look at that. Get a free item. So, that's going to be included within each individual bundle that you can see. It does end midnight on Wednesday the 19th of May and it is while stocks last so get across onto our website of course if you are watching from our website you can be watching and shopping at the same time so many and nowadays like we do we watch on the big screen because it's smart TV and technology and you can shop on your phone so uh, yes have a look while you're there but let's dive straight into launch day now what I'm going to do with this one here is I'm going to take my time because I want you to see what you get with us. A couple of comments already popping through going, mm, uh, I, I bought it on HSN, but it seems to be a bit different. So this is the bundle that we have got on Crafters TV. This is our Crafters Companion bundle on Crafters TV. So let's show you the finished samples first of all. I'm going to show you the boards. And then what we can do is we can get crafting, Joe. Does that sound like a good plan? Sounds like a great plan. Uh, I do believe I'm right in saying, Craig, if you bought the HSM bundle, there isn't anything in here that isn't in the bundle that is already coming to you. But would you get that double checked as well? Absolutely, we will do it and uh, indeed. And as I said, that's a great thing with Crafters TV and being live is we can answer these straight away and get these sorted. So what we're going to do is let's show you some of these finished samples ha here. Now, when it comes, to wait until you see the paper pad, simply exquisite. But what you've got is you've got dies, you've got stamps. Now, the dies will work in conjunction with the stamps. However, you can use them independently as well if you want. Now, within the Shinwazari collection, <laughs> you're going to be able to use either your Get It Got It Good paper pad, Joe, stop laughing. You could then, of course, maybe start to use your texture 12 by 12 paper pads. It could be the sunflower tones. Thank you. Was that, was that Siri or was that Google? Is that Siri or Google that's telling me that? Uh, Google. 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 There we go. <laughs> we, we will get it right, no doubt, by some point here. Now look at these gorgeous lanterns here. Once again, these are dies, but I'm going to show you, they're kind of like our crafter's companion take on dies. And what they are is they're two separate dies. So although they can cut out the full little lanterns that we can see here, it also gives you the element to create edibles as well. Look at this. I'm going to say the words exquisite over and over again. Here's another idea where I'm seeing all those different colored cardstocks that you can be using on the backgrounds, but how well does black card work as well? Now this lovely floral little frame that we've got in here, the blacks work well on the backdrop. This is where the pattern papers are exquisite. But we've got the little birdies as well. You know, you could be colour them so that they could be any different uh, bird that you uh, like to know if you're a bird watcher. But then you can do your concepts. So if you're bringing in your Ultimate Pro, your scoreboard, you can see here, using tri-blends, using your pencils, maybe even go a little bit of sparkle if you want. Nice. But all of these that I've showed you, you've got the pattern papers on the back and you'll have noticed maybe you'll have noticed by now, you've got a lot of different designs and a lot of different colours as well. Now look at this design. This is a full back die on this one here. So that one there, that is just some of the things that you can be making when it comes to the collection. Now you can just see, just poking out from the side of your screen as well, I've got lots of different examples that are at the side of me. Sarah's going to be showing you in more detail as well come the show later on. But let's go in. Now, this is our bundle. Now, I'm just going to get that cleared, but Georgina, what was that you were just saying a moment ago? Okie doke. Okie doke. 
Okay, doc. So, if you were to shop this collection on HSN right now, it is the same collection. So just Brilliant. so we're not getting any confusion or anything, it's HSN different at the moment. What you will then see, if you were to go to them, of course, then you're going to be getting the same here. So hopefully that's uh, uh, stopped any confusion that you might have. And anyone that's already got it, Craig, they're not missing anything. They don't they're need not. to worry. They can just sit back, relax, get all the inspiration and education, which is lovely, isn't it? It is. It is. It's always good to know that. And as it is a key thing, never want you guys to feel as though you're missing out, which you absolutely are not. So uh, fear not. Now, these ones here are your 3D die-cut toppers. So these are already on the background sheet. They're already layered up for you. So you can pop them straight onto a card or incorporate them into a little tag. Then what we've got here is the stamp set with this one here. Oh, phenomenal, amazing, gorgeous. All these different words are just coming out to explain all the different designs within these ones here. So the chinoiserie, full set that I'm going through right now with the beautiful bird stamps here. Now you can be doing your different techniques if you want to be doing them with maybe your uh, your layering um, paste or what you could even do is things like your Pebeo drawn gums and you can create extra definition. But then we've got an embossing folder. Now it is a 2D embossing folder, our standard embossing folder. Nothing standard about it. Look at the depth that you get within this folder. Six by six, which means it's going to go through your junior, of course it's going to go through your midi, but even if you don't have a Gemini, you have another die cutting machine, as long as it's A5 or bigger, these are going to work perfectly. We've got our chinoiserie frame die. This is two separate ones, so it'll cut either, let's go that way Craig, either cut into your card, or you can cut out using the die that comes included. Now here we've got the lanterns, the Ori Oriental Lantern stamp and die set here. So use the stamps on their own, but you've got the dies at the bottom. And see how they're separate dies, Joe? This is how you can use them together to cut out the lanterns or use them as edgeables. Left hand side, right hand side, it's entirely up to yourself. Then we've got our peony wreath stamp die and die and stamp. This is what I'm going to be demoing here. Now this is one that shouts out to be decoupaged. I won't be decoupaging in wake up call because it is a time consuming element, but hopefully if I get my hands on this in upcoming shows, that's something I would love to do. You do get great versatility as well, don't you Craig? Like those flowers you've just shown us there, yes, you can make them oriental with the colorways, but absolutely, if you want to change those into spring or summer flowers and use them away from this collection, you're gonna be able to do that as well. Of course you can. Absolutely, and that's a good thing. When it comes to your colour medium, you can see straight away, here is our cardstock that we've got here. Now, within this one here, I'm just wanting to double check. I So, right here. This is the one, so just to avoid any confusion, so that one we've just picked up there, that shouldn't have been in my bundle, so ignore what I showed you there. So what we've got here, this is our 12 by 12 pattern paper here. Now what we can see here is all double sided. This is just giving you an inkling as to what you can expect. So you've got the subtle background on one side. Let's sit that one there. Then you've got your deep pattern on the other. Now what you can then do is look. Oh, look at that one. Look That's at like that a one. Ming vase, that one. Yes. Yes, it is. And we were speaking before the show, me and Joe, look at that. Boom. Now, I know that I do, from time to time, will say, when it comes to our paper pads, pop it into a 12 by 12 frame and that's your home decor done. I've never been more serious about saying that and doing that than when it comes to this paper pad here. All different layers. Love that one. It's gorgeous, isn't it? It's going to match so many decor here. But what I'll also say, when it comes to the colour palette, one that's going to be ideal for this is your nature garden, the farmhouse set that's relatively new, or even going to the, the uh, oh gosh now, what was the last nature garden I'm trying to think of here? The, what was our other animal, what was our other Peacock. animal? Peacock. Not the peacock. Firm. No, uh, so either farmhouse or one from before that. Woodland uh, friends. Woodland friends. I don't know why. Oh, I'm just having a little stretch there. Hello. Oh, just having a wee stretch Hiya. there. Almost oh, a yeah. dab. Busted. 
what you've got there, so either the, uh, the farm lard or of course when it comes to the woodland animals, these 12 by 12 paper pads are going to work spectacularly well. Bringing them all in from our full range as well, every single colour tone. That's a big thing for me to say and I have gone through it over the weekend and had a look. So many colour tones from white to black to pink to purple to orange to yellow are all going to complement this collection. So what we're going to do, Joe, is let's, I think we need to get into a bit of a demo. What do you I think? I think we do. Let's go for it, will we? Let's do, you, do shall it. I, do you know what, what, do you know what I'm going to do, Craig? Well, I'm going to have a little Google. We're going to explore okay. the history of chinoiserie as well, if that's all right. I'm going to have a little Google. I'm going to see what Wikipedia's got to say on the subject. Let's do that. So while you're doing that as well, we will go straight into demo, but let's just say afternoon and morning to everyone. Uh, we've got uh, Laura Simmons on Facebook. Hi all from Seattle. Oh my God, I'm having a horrible night at work. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Laura. So I turned into time for Craig's. <laughs> you got to read it now. I was saving that one. <laughs> okay. Okay, so I'll start that again. So hi all from Seattle. Oh my gosh, I'm having a horrible night at work. So I tuned in time for Craig's butchering <laughs> of chinoiserie. <laughs> Uh, laughing. <laughs> so, yeah. She actually can't, says LMAO, yeah. which means something we can't say, I'm yes, afraid. Yes, exactly. We can't say that on uh, when we're live. Um, but you're just saying, you know, just uh, you're uh, having a chuckle. So, do you know what the main thing is? You're having a chuckle. So go for it. I uh, hope you have a lovely day. Hope everyone's having an okay day. Uh, we've also got. Um, where have we got here? Aisha is saying, I love having Joe on Mondays. He always lays out the week for us and gives us some sneak peeks. He does. He does, doesn't he? And you know what Joe's like? He sometimes as well will, um, you know, maybe give you a little teaser as to things he shouldn't be saying. Absolutely. You know what he's like. But here we go. Keep the comments coming in. Liz, Michelle, Helen, we'll read your comments coming up throughout the show. But let's dive straight in. Let's do a bit of stamping and colouring and... Oh gosh, if you've not seen this, if this is the first time you've seen this collection, you're going to love it. Absolutely love it, Joe. So here we are. So what I've done on this one here, I've taken some of our Nina. Now, did I miss a, miss a disc there? There we did. I brought my Nina in on this one here. I'm also going to use the embossing folder, but I do need to bring in... So there's the embossing folder. We're going to go for the peony wreath for this one here. So the chinoiserie collection as a whole, whether you are just picking out individual elements to use, or maybe you want to incorporate them into a, a complete project, you've got that ability to do that. And I know all our collections work in conjunction as a bundle. I th what, it, what it is with this collection here, I'm not going to go through all the colours again, but as I picked upon a moment ago, what you are able to do, Joe, is, and I am going to go out on a limb there and say, there isn't a colour of cardstock that isn't going to go with this collection. Absolutely, 100% agree with you there, Craig. And I think that's because there's so many colours in that paper pad, and by its very style, uh, Shinwazari is, you know, such a varied colour palette, as a lot of oriental designs are. I think you're right, it's going to be a really good one for you to use. I'd love to see as well, something like those birds, Craig, there, maybe heat embossed over patterned paper. Yeah. You know, printing, uh, stamping onto patterned paper, which is something we seem to be doing a lot more of at the moment. I think these stamps are really going to lend themselves to that. Of course they are, of course they are. Whether you're going to go very, very simplistic, if you are relatively new to crafting, or whether you are going to start to do more advanced techniques, then of course you absolutely can do as well. And with it being Nina for this one, I'm going to use my tripline pens for this. So all that I'm going to do is I'm just going to pick out a few colours for us to start to do a little bit of colouring, Joe. Awesome. Uh, whilst you're colouring then, do you want to learn about the history of chinoiserie? I would, uh, Okay. Chinoiserie uh, is a French loan word uh, from the French word chinoiserie, uh, which means chinoise, which is basically ch simplified version of Chinese, 
traditional Chinese, is the European interpretation and imitation of Chinese and other East Asian artistic traditions, especially in the decorative arts, garden design, architecture, literature, theatre and music. The aesthetic of chinoiserie has been expressed in different ways depending on the region. Its acknowledgement derives from the current Orientalism, which studied Far East cultures from a historical, theological, anthropological, philosophical and religious point of view. Gosh, I did well to say those, You've didn't I? You've done so well. We thought chinoiserie was hard to say. First appearing in the 17th century, this trend was popularised in the 18th century due to the rise in the trade with China and the rest of Asia. As a style, chinoiserie is related to the Rococo style. Both styles are characterised by exuberant decoration, asymmetry, a focus on materials, and stylized nature and subject matter that focuses on leisure and pleasure. Chinoiserie. Uh, focuses on the subjects that were brought by the colonial era Europeans to be typical of Chinese culture. Well, there you go. And there was us just thinking it looked pretty, Craig. Exactly, I know. I know. Yeah. Um, uh, also, Laura's come back and said, yay, redemption for you, Craig. There you go. Maybe you didn't butcher it a second time round, I think is what she's saying there. Uh, Cra Shadaya says, Craig, I bought two sets of these. I cannot wait to put them together. That's Shadaya talking about those handbags. Uh, already a fair few questions about uh, how the Chinoiserie collection differs to the bundle that was on HSN. What I can tell you is if you bought it on HSN, you already have everything that's in this bundle. Uh, if you do want it, it is exceptionally busy already. What I wouldn't, what I wouldn't do is, uh, especially if you're cherry picking, is I wouldn't wait for the launch day. I would get your orders in before, sit back, relax. I know a lot of you have already got your hands on this collection, so you're just here purely for the inspiration. If you guys don't need to worry about anything whatsoever. Uh, also, no doubt there'll be a craft along scheduled in the very near future with this too. So if you're going for it in the launch day, once you've got it, we'll give you a couple of weeks, get yourself sorted, and then we'll get that uh, done for you as well. So we'll all be able to craft along together in real time, which will be awesome. Uh, Liz says, uh, Craig, Joe's very naughty, naughty with the giggling. You said it absolutely fine. There you are. <laughs> um, uh, Michelle's just sent me in a picture of her Obi. So hopefully this will help since you forgot your kimono. Kimono, 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 no, 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 no. No, okay. Um, oh, that's good, that's good. Yeah. That was good, Craig, wasn't that it? That was good. Kimono, she better didn't, was the other one I was working on as well. Uh, do you want to see the OB? We've got it, Craig. Should we yeah, have a look? do that. I'm just doing a bit of colouring, so let's see it, yeah. Nice. Oh, oh wow. There you are, look at that. Right, Michelle, I was going to Google what an OB is, but I feel like you're in a better position place to show us. Uh, it's a belt. It's amazing is what it is. Um, oh, that's gorgeous. She got it when she was in Okinawa. Amazing. Do you want a fact about Okinawa, Craig? Yeah, please. The people in Okinawa are the longest lived people in the world. I they have the highest age expectancy of anywhere else, anywhere in the world. Do you know why I know this? Why? Because I once did a diet show a few years ago and I went on the Okinawa diet. And right. it was horrendous, Craig. Was it? How yeah. But I joked that the people don't live any longer there, they just think they do, because the food is so boring. And what way was it? Bought like bland or... It was just very... You think of Japanese food, don't you, as like lovely gyozas, like dumplings and yeah. teppanyaki. No, it's just a lot of like tofu and um, what was it I was having for... I was having like miso soup for breakfast. Uh, absolutely delicious, just not my, not my cup of tea. Not your cup I of tea. I did, however, lose lots of weight when I did it. It was on Channel 4, actually. You can watch it. It's on 4OD anytime. Is it still uh, on 4OD, is it? still there now, yeah. It's called How to Lose Weight Well. Ah. Helen Moore says, anyway, enough about my, you know, enough about my glittering career, Craig. Uh, Helen Moore says, I love these lanterns. My friend would love these collections. Uh, and they're a good mix of bright and subtle colours. I think as well, Craig, something that's going to take you all the way through the year. Uh, how about, I think, new, if you were someone that crafts New Year's cards, how brilliant would these be with the lanterns and, and that kind of thing? Uh, really lovely if you were sending money to someone as well, Craig. You know they have like red letter days, don't they, in, That's right. uh, in, Asian, cult in Asian culture? These would be great for creating things like that. I'm thinking gift wallets as well. Gift card wallets would be great. I mean, just so many different ways uh, that you can take it. It is. It really is. What I like to think as well, this really shouts out to be dimensional. 
So if you do like to do your dimensional projects or that, I would say that this is really one of those collections that's going to uh, enable you to do uh, substantial dimensional projects. It will do it indeed. I'm going to put my neck on the line, Craig, and say this is without a doubt my favourite ever nature's garden collection. I, I think a lot of people are going mm. to be with you on that one, Joe. I'm actually thinking maybe it's my favourite ever collection. Do you think so? Rose Gold is currently up there. Yeah. Uh, it's without a doubt my favourite ever paper pad. I, would, I can say that without any kind of hesitation yeah. at all. The extra paper pads are available as well on their own individually. I don't know how long that will be the case for, though. Uh, I think we'll get to a point where um, you will only be able to get it when you get the bundle. But if you want extra 12 by 12s, you can get those at the moment, which is fantastic. It is. Uh, loads of people telling me they've got it, Craig. Um, Evangeline says, Japanese food is wonderful. It is wonderful. Uh, it absolutely is. Uh, but the food that I was eating on that diet, not so much. Do you like um, do you like Asian culture, Craig, and food from the Far East and all those kind of things? Uh, I, I do. It's not something that I have a lot. Okay. But I do. I do have. Uh, I have it occasionally, and yeah, the flavours are simply they're sublime. They really, mm. really are. You know what you can do with the or what they can do with their flavours is, is spectacular. Yeah. And it is the sort of uh, food or you know the the things that they make in that because I I, I like meat I like chicken um, I could, would never say I couldn't go right down the line of just obviously on a vegetarian basis or anything like that however mm. whenever I've eaten anything along those lines where it is just uh, vegetable ve or do you know what I'm trying to say when they do that with the flavours it is mind blowing yeah it is uh, we're very lucky to have a Chinatown as well in uh, Manchester uh, ah. and uh, I believe it was one of the first Chinatowns uh, in the UK yes uh -huh. it was the first what's the arch called that's outside of a Chinatown I should know this I learnt the word on Saturday on my walking tour Craig and I've forgotten it the arch of is it called a prosperity arch or something along those lines that rings the one in bell. Manchester was the first one in the UK that really does ring a bell. Rings a bell with that one there. Mm. But there's so many things. Do what Joe was doing there as well and go into your search engine and you know you can ask away and find out more things. Go to well. joeremblancefactchecker.com to see uh, <laughs> what was that. Now what I've done is obviously I didn't want to finish colouring the full lot here. I've used the outside die to cut around. Now can you see I'm I'm off a few millimetres. So what I would usually do is I would suggest on something like this, stamp it and die cut it first, or die cut then stamp, then do your colouring. Because if you do all your colouring, then do the die cut, and if it slips or moves, you might get a bit frustrated thinking, gosh, I've spent all that time. So when it comes to something like this, I would suggest making sure that you do the uh, stamping and die cutting first. But this creates a nice shadow effect. If you do what I like to do and go around with a grey pen as well, that's a nice way to just uh, eliminate that factor, but still give you that uh, background or shadow effect. Let's come in with this one here. Just oh, to say as well. Craig, that looks incredible. Gorgeous, isn't it? So beautiful. And that's using the dark red blend, light green blend, and coral blend when it comes to this one. So I've got all my elements here, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to run this piece of cardstock through my embossing folder, and then I'll just take a moment or two to assemble this card and let you see how it looks once it's done. Brilliant. Uh, now is National Baking Inter International Baking Day? National Baking Day? <laughs> I said it. <laughs> I just said it's National Baking Day. International Baking Day. Which one? And Georgie said yes. That's like oh, I don't know. It's World Baking Day, which is amazing. Uh, so we want to know what you love to bake. Let us know in the comments. Crafters TV on Facebook. Crafters Companion on YouTube make sure you uh, click subscribe if you're watching us over on YouTube. We'd love to know what you bake because we're going to be teaching you, we're going to be teaching you, Sarah, I should say, is going to be teaching you in the show how to make her famous, her world famous cheese scones. Scones, scones. I keep saying it different ways. It's going to be after this show. Um, talking of baking as well, and seeing as we have the chinoiserie, coll chinoiserie collection, uh, we have a couple of amazing Chinese bakeries in, uh, in Manchester, Craig. Do I you? feel like I am like... At the moment, I am like, wow, I'm like the tourist board for Manchester. For at the moment. Manchester. I don't know what's going on. I think it's because, Craig, things are opening up again. Yeah. And I'm able to discover things that I obviously haven't been able to discover whilst I've lived there for quite a long time. That, Craig, looks 
Amazing. Look at that. How incredible. Now you can't, that was just putting that through an embossing folder there. So it goes to show you don't need to do the full lot. That's just four by four. So you either go direct with your ink pad, which was water reactive green topaz, or using your blending tool, going over it nice. with your blending tool. So two totally different looks that you can see here. Do you know what it reminds me of? It's What's like that? the inside of a Japanese tea chest, how you'd imagine that to be uh, decorated. Actually. That's yeah. what it kind of reminds me of. Yeah, some sort of tea chest or something like that. It's got a bit of an antique vibe about it, hasn't it, Craig? As well as being like vibrant in its color palette, I just think you're, gonna, you're not gonna run out of ways you can use this. You're not, you're not. No way will you ever, and again, you know, that's a bold statement as well, be lost with different ideas. And where I was saying earlier on, with your different card stocks that you could use, this time I'm incorporating one of the background with gold and a black card blank. Now, of course, I would put in a white insert to write in it, but we've now, we've changed the color tones that you're going to be using. So if you like to use your mirror card, you can. Do you know what will also work well is your Centura Peril, but so will your adorable Scorable. Whether it's your normal, and I say that loosely, adorable Scorable, or it could be your Mattastic. This is what I'm uh, obviously wanting to really make it clear that all your cardstock you've got at home, even glitter, is going to work with this collection here. I think it's spectac spectacular, Joe. I, I don't know what other words I can... I'm running out of superlatives, Craig. Yeah? I am running out of superlative adje 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 oh, adjectives. I learned that word, I learned that term over the weekend, Craig, and I knew I was going to be able to fit it in somewhere, so I'm really pleased with myself, and then I got it wrong. Someone <laughs> said, uh, Susie T thought I said it was National Bacon Day. Bacon uh, Day. Do you know what? World Bacon Day, it needs a bake. We uh, need a World Bacon Day if we don't yeah. really have one, I think. Um, smoked or unsmoked? Oh. Bacon days in September. Do you know what, Craig? It genuinely depends on my mood. Does it? Sometimes when I go to the shop, I like smoke space, smoked bacon. Do you know what I like? I love the smoky flavour of bacon. Yeah. I do feel though that unsmoked bacon goes a little crispier, a little easier. Does it? Yeah. If it's streaky bacon, it's always smoked. If it's uh, back bacon, so I'm not sure. I think most of your bacon in the States is streaky bacon, but here, in um, the UK, we have uh, ba back bacon, we call it. Yeah. Would maybe be a bit like a gammon rasher, maybe you call it something like that in the US. Someone will let me know, I'm sure. Would be unsmoked for that. If I'm having bacon, eggs and avocado, smoked bacon, Craig. I'm having a bacon sandwich, unsmoked bacon, you brown really sauce. You really overthink when it comes to the bacon, don't you? I, I love bacon, what can I say? I, put bacon in your baking, boom. Mind oh, yeah. blown, Craig. That would work well. That would work really well. Bacon and pancakes. Um, see, I'm smoked bacon. And the, the, the fat, dead, dead crispy. Mm. Dead, dead crispy. Got to have crispy bacon. It's the law, Craig, it really, it really is. I Lot could of, make it law. That is gorgeous. Now, there we go. Now, what I've done is I've taken on that state, same stamp set, you've got little sentiments. You've also got your little peonies here with the dies also die cut them out so if you want to build upon that you can do but look at that how elegant is that could be a little shaker bit if you want to or of course it could be a tiny little frame within the middle as well it could be a large card it could be a small card that could have a multitude of different colors and textured card stocks and materials on the brack maybe bring in little bits of textured fabrics or ribbons, something like that, it would work really, really well. That's just one of so many different things and ideas that you can be doing when it comes to the chinoiserie collection that that's going to be coming up on launch day. So that's 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time. Of course, it's going to be with Sarah and Joe as well. I can tell you, I have seen the prep that Sarah's done of her demos coming up in launch day and they are mind blowing. So it's certainly one you don't want to miss. $54.99 here in the UK, $89.99 for you guys stateside. Everyone gets that saving at the bottom of the screen, of course. If you're in Club Inspire, crafterscompanion.co.uk.com or .eu, you'll be paying even less than that. Um, 
got, although it's Monday and it's a launch day now, so, so many comments coming through uh, again, Joe. There's just loads of them. There is so many. Michelle has got back to us as well, Craig, talking about the OB. She says, OB is the sash that wraps, wraps around, wraps around the waist of a kimono. Right. An OB usually denotes your status in society, either as a bride or dignitary or someone of high prominence. Short explana explanation there for you. Thank you. Very succinct, uh, Michelle. I appreciate it. Um, Laura Jane says she's got the collection. Uh, I am always drawn to anything oriental. So this had my name all over it. Evangeline says Japanese food is wonderful. It is indeed. Uh, Susie C says, okay, I've got it. I can relax for the day. I've got the Chinoiserie collection, some gilding wax, new plates for my mini and midi, Centuripel, and the TT magnetic design tool as well. A lot of you, I think, will be uh, filling your baskets or building your basket up so you make sure uh, you get that free shipping, which is always a good idea to do. Few things talking about baking. Susie T says, I thought you said bacon. No, it was definitely baking. Uh, but uh, Michelle says, I love to bake. One of my favourites is jalapeno cheddar cornbread or honey cornbread. Craig, I'm going to share a secret with you. Uh -huh. I've never had cornbread. Not I've to my knowledge, I've anyway. never had cornbread yeah. bread. Not to my knowledge, anyway. No, I've not had any either. Uh, Evangeline, she really wants to try, not specifically baking, haggis, krenakan, and cottage pie. I don't know what krenakan is. Am I mispronouncing that? Krenakan. So, there's two that I get mixed up. They're very different, but I always get them mixed up. So, I always get mixed up between what's uh, oats and cream, and then there's another one, but it's, uh, um, it's, it's all to do with fish. It's ah. all to do with fish. And I, I should know. I can never remember which one's which. It's one or the other. Um, I want to say it's one full of oats and cream and yummy goodness. All right, brilliant. Wrong, but. Uh, let us know, Evangeline. Uh, Michelle loves a paper hat, pad. Should I have not had a breakfast and all this food is, is not doing all this food talk? Well, the next segment is going to really get you hungry, should I, is all I'll say. Uh, Suzette wants to know if I've ever had a bacon maple donut. I have not, but I'm up for it. Craig, Me are you too. up for trying one? Oh, I'm always up for something like that. Donuts, brilliant. Just any, any food, any. Mm. Delicious. George uh, bought in donuts over the weekend and there was one left yesterday, Craig, and I begged and pleaded with everyone to eat it all day because I knew what would happen and we got to six o'clock and I've guessed what happened. Yep, I ate the donut. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, anyway, let's move on. There's so much social coming in today. Send us pictures as well of things that you've baked or you love to bake. I would love to see them. Studio at crafterscompanion.co.uk is where you need to send them into. Uh, but now we've talked about it a lot, I believe... We are going to uh, go to a lovely Sarah. So what Sarah's done is, you guys ask a lot about uh, fudge recipes and all sorts of things. I know she shares those all with you. Loads of you, lots of questions about scones uh, and Sarah's scones. They are legendary. Uh, so Sarah's actually going to teach you how to make her fabulous cheese scones. Take a look. So one of the, so one of the recipes I feel like I have perfected over the last year are my cheese scones. And it's a mix of just practice, tweaking, and a couple of key ingredients. So I thought I'd walk you through that now. So here's what you're gonna need. Um, self-raising flour, flour. So you want four cream. grams of self-raising flour. 100 grams of butter, really important to make sure that this is chopped and very, very cold. The colder the better. Uh, I like to do mine using buttermilk. So I've got one uh, can of buttermilk, 160 grams of cheese, then my secret ingredients, I like to have a bit of mustard powder, this is cream of tartar, some baking powder, some onion granules, a little pinch of salt, and then for the top you're going to want a bit of milk for brushing it and also your parmesan. Right, let's get started. So, first, that really cold butter is going to go into the flour. So you want nice and cold and you want to keep rubbing until you get like a breadcrumb texture. So, once you've got it to that breadcrumby stage, this is when you want to start adding those kind of magic ingredients, as I said. Now, when I say magic, right, all scone recipes call for a little bit of baking powder. So, you're going to want to put like a decent spoonful of baking powder or whatever in. Then, Leanne told me if I'm making scones, my best scones would come if I put this cream of tartar. Now, I'd never even heard of it, I'm being really honest, I'd certainly never bought it. But, um, I now put one of the little sachets in, and it, I had to shop all over to get it, but I put a little sachet in every batch, and honestly, it makes such a difference. This one was my own addition, right? So, onion granules. So, I just find a nice big spoonful of onion granules like this in the cheese scones. 
make the world of difference. And then also, and again, a lot of recipes call for this, half a teaspoon or so of mustard powder. All right, and you want about a teaspoon of salt in there, not too much. And then we're just gonna mix all of that in and add your buttermilk. So you're just gonna bring all of that together now, while it's kind of in this stage, but not quite all brought together, I'm going to add the cheese. So you want um, 160 grams of cheese. And then I'm just going to bring everything together. So, kneaded that together. And now we just want to get it rolled out. You're probably going to get about eight scones out of this. So thickness wise, you want them to be nice and big. So I tend to go about an inch thick, I would say. And we just in, pick it up, and get them straight out under the bacon tray. And then literally just brushing the tops with milk. And we're gonna brush them with milk and then also give them a little dusting of Parmesan. ready to go in the oven for around about, I would say about 10 minutes. Oh my goodness, how Amazing do they look. Warm cheese scones from the oven, Craig, with salted butter. Oh, wow. Honestly, I Andre, am anyone? drooling. I can't mm. believe we didn't have some in the studio to try. I, I can't believe, how can, how can they do that? How can Sarah do that? Tease us. us and then not have any here. I know. I oh, know. We've got baking pictures coming in, though. Some more teasing coming up. Uh, Pamela says, all this talk about bacon has got me craving bacon, egg and cheese croissants. Yum. Delicious. Laura Jane says, my favourite is a mocha cupcake. I also make pineapple shortbread for my neighbours. That Ooh. sounds delicious. Uh, Christine Koppenraff, uh, a friend of the show from the Netherlands, uh, says, after studying Mandarin for three years, I got so obsessed, my whole house was full of black lacquer furniture. No... What it was, it was murder trying to keep it clean. I bet it was. Chinese is such a wonderful language. Laura is saying it when I come to the States again, I need to try cornbread in the South. I will definitely give it a go. Val likes to make cheese and bacon scones, but only when my family are coming as I can't resist uh, eating them too. Vicky says, Joe, I don't get time to photograph any of my baking. The hubby is straight <laughs> in there. What I've baked as soon as it comes out of the oven and eats most of it as well. That's what it's all for. Um, should I, says Joe, please tell the Energizer Bunny, Sarah, please post the recipe. I was so, it, she goes so fast, I am giddy. Uh, you can watch that back at any time as well. Uh, you're more than welcome to. Craig or Joe, can you please ex explain what a scone is? The nearest thing you guys have to a scone I believe is a biscuit. Yeah. Uh, it, it's from the south, isn't it? It's like a bigger, fluffier one of those. You would eat it on its own. Traditionally, they're sweets. They would have currants and raisins and a little bit of spice in them. You would have it with jam and cream. What you then have is uh, savoury variations on that, whereby uh, you can have cheese and all sorts of different flavours in them. So you have savoury ones or sweet ones. Very popular here in the UK. I'm not sure really that they're hugely popular anywhere else, Craig, you. I never see them when I go to Europe, for instance. No, I'm, I'm exactly the same as you. I've, I've not seen them out and about, and a bit like you, obviously I'm not a great chef like you are, Joe, but I, I like watching the programmes and I don't see them about. Anything close as biscuit, the you guys stateside, yeah. but um, yeah, I do like the sweet version, that's for sure. Um, I think yeah, a lot of you are uh, clearly like us and really in the mood for a scone. Yeah, they're very, f very famous from George's part of the world, uh, in Devon, where you have a cream tea. So you have uh, a nice pot of tea, lots, I mean, lots of different varieties. Uh, and then you have a few pastries, uh, maybe a little chocolate eclair. Uh, and then you'd have your scones and you'd have clotted cream and jam. And there's a, always a big debate, Craig, isn't there, about what goes on first, the jam or the cream. Now, what's the Devon way, George? 
Devon Way is cream first and then jam. Is the Cornish way the other way round? Cornish is jam first, then cream. I must say I prefer the Cornish way, George. I'm sorry if that drives a dagger through your heart. I feel, Craig, I don't know about you, that the jam is a more sturdy base to dollop the cream onto. When I do it the other way around, I find I look, my cream goes everywhere. I'm trying, I'm trying to think now what, what I do. If I, put, if I put the jam first or the cream, I can't think now. All right, it all just, goes down the same hole as my mouth says. I was just a way to say, I just lob it in my mouth anyway, but yeah. I've, I've, I'm, not, I'm not sure. We're really struggling to stay on the straight and narrow today, Craig, aren't we? We are so far off pace. We're about 15 minutes behind, I reckon, something like that. There's just so much excitement. There's so much talking about baking and chinoiserie and scones. But anyway, on uh, we, yeah. as the kids say, we move, Craig. So uh, interchangeable sentiments. Let's go for it here. So what I'm going to do with this one, we're going to do a demo, but let's, uh, I'll go over the details in a sec. I'll show you the boards first, then this finished sample, so that if you are new to them, they're relatively new. But this is what's coming up later on on Monday Makers with myself and Joe. This is our interchangeable sentiment die collection. Now you're getting 30 elements in total. You're getting your six packs, but within each pack you're getting five dies. I'll explain them just in a moment. 74.95 here in the UK, 84.75 for you guys stateside. Everyone pays that saving. However, if you are in Club Inspire, you'll be paying less than that. Now, I had these on Monday Makers last week and I asked if I could have them again because they're so versatile. You can start to incorporate them in the chinoiserie collection if you wanted to or maybe when it comes into the handbags that we'll show you just shortly. If you are new to them, what these are, if we go down to the bottom on this one here, now there's two dies here. There's an outline die and then you've got your decorative die. So these are separate, so you can layer upon each other or you can cut in. But then what you've got is you've got the ability to use these three separate sentiments. So you might want to use get well wishes that fits into that aperture, but birthday wishes fits into the aperture, but then so does send in wishes. So you have the choice of three different sentiments that can pop into that aperture there. Or you might want to go, that was the ornate swirls, but then what we've got is lovely vines, same concept here, you've got your outline die, you've got your decorative die, but then you have got best friends, best of luck, or best wishes that you might want to use, or use them separately if you want. Then we've got this one here. Now, is this the one that's your favourite, Joe? Wildflowers. Yeah, it is. It reminds me of, um, like... Tropical hotel reception lobby flowers is what it reminds me of. I can see that. Yeah, when you said that to me, it was either last week or the week before, mm. whenever we last had it on. Um, yeah, I can see exactly where you're coming like from. Like Thai style, that's what it reminds it me is, of. It is, isn't love. it? Do you know something? Actually, now it might just be me. Some of the designs within the paper pad of the chinoiserie might work well with that one. Beautifully. Imagine cutting. Imagine cutting the back. Yep. Like actually cutting that mat layer, mat layer from it, Craig. Yep. <gasps> Hello. Why not? The main base layer doesn't need to be base cardstock. It could be your pattern paper. So this one being the wild flowers is send in kisses, send in love or send in hugs. Then what we've got is just for you. This is what we're going to demo in a moment. So just for you, thank you or miss you. Then we have got our butterfly foliage. So happy birthday, happy Easter. Not one that's seen a lot or happy thoughts pretty florals so this one here has got your congratulations celebrate or your condolences within this one here but what you can then also do is use the sentiments individually or if you've seen the uh, foil press show a couple of weeks ago I showed you how you can then use them when it comes to your foil press so happy Easter missing you get well soon last one for now this one being your celebrate. So it could be on your cards, it could be on maybe your little uh, scrapbook pages, it could be on your little gift bags. It's entirely up to yourself. Karen's made quite the accusation on, fa on uh, Facebook, Craig. All right. She has accused me of my cream being too runny. Too yeah. runny? She says, Joe, proper Devon clotty cream needs to be spread on with a knife, hence it goes on first, then the jam. It was, it was proper Devon clotty cream that I had. Uh, do you know the other thing that I get, don't get about it, Craig? What's that? is that when you do cream first and then jam, you have to have like the mini jams because if you get cream, if you've got cream on your knife and it goes back in the jam, it makes your jam mouldy. 
So I always think if you, if you get That's a jam true. in your clotted cream, your jam's not going to make your clotted cream go mouldy. But the other way around, you're going to end up with mouldy jam. I'm just saying, no just one saying. wants mouldy jam. Oh no, there's nothing worse. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, well there is actually one thing worse. When someone's had toast and they put the knife back in the butter. Oh, like I've always got, there are always crumbs in my butter. Oh, I don't like We crummies. would never be able to live together, Craig. It used to drive my old housemate insane. Yeah. I don't understand how you spread butter on your toast, but don't get crumbs back in the butter. I just Easy. can't do it. Easy. I, I can't, I need a, we, maybe we could do a craft along with it. Yeah, craft along. <laughs> a craft along with that one. That would be funny, wouldn't it? Funny to see. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to use our Regal frame. Now, I'm actually using a combination of paper pads. This one that I'm using at the moment is our Best of British, which is part of the Get It, Got It Good. But what I'm also going to use for the actual core colour for my layers, later on on Monday Makers, we have got some of the 8x8 core colour and pattern colour cardstock from our Year of Crafts previous ones. So that's what I'm using when it comes to the main layers of uh, my sentiments that I'm going to use in a moment. And what I've done, an A5 card, and I have snipped along one side so that I have got, just double checking, an inch from the top. And then what I've done is I've sandwiched a piece of acetate so it fits the same size of the card. And then what I'm going to do is layer it up with a little bit of ribbon and then what we're going to do on this one is here, I've got another white layer, but instead of popping that on straight on like this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop this one on here, Joe, at the bottom. Then I'm going to turn it around. And then what I'm going to do, so that we don't see this adhesive, I'm going to pop my white layer on the back. And that's going to cover the adhesive and means it's going to be a nice, clean finish into here. Awesome. Panda Crafts is accusing me of being a double dipper, Craig. I'm not a double dipper Panda Crafts. I just don't like to use two separate knives is, uh, is, the, uh, is the issue there. Anne says, Joe, just spread the cream on one side of the scone and the jam on the other side. Stick them together and turn it up which way you want. Then it doesn't matter. I think that's a great shout. Or do you eat a scone George, as is, a that, whole? is that approved? He'd approve that. George is our, you know, he's a messiah when it comes to all things Devonshire. So there we are. Um, Alona Brown wants to know, can you please ask the lovely Craig what stovies and rowies are, please? As I'm reading a book and they mentioned that these are, uh, they mentioned these, are they, um, thanks in advance, love the show, guys, you do a great job. Stovies and rowies, Craig. So stovies, stovies is a mix of potato, a lot of people nowadays would maybe use uh, things like corned beef and uh, the beef dripping. Nice. Originally, it was kind of like to use up any excess uh, beef or that that you've had left over. Right. Uh, a lot of people do it in the pressure cooker as well. So do they, are they like, in, a, are they like in, a, in some sort of dough or are they just, no. uh, just as they are? So it's just like a mix of leftovers that are like cooked down together. Exactly. Oh, yeah. awesome. Um, and what was the other one? Rowies. Rowies. Never yeah. heard of it. Never heard of it. Never heard there of it. There we are. Have you heard of it? Never. No. Never heard of it either. Um, no. Lots of you, uh, Lorna Jane sent us in a picture. We'll get to those pictures really soon. Winnebeth's just gone platinum, having ordered the chinoiserie. Congratulations. Uh, that is awesome. Yep, yeah, and uh, Panda Crafts. She says, there's no double dipping, Joe. No double di dipping in the jam. No, no, no. I I'm not. I think it's, it's, you, you put your knife in the cream, right? You spread that. Then you use the same knife to go in the jam to spread the jam. You've got cream in your jam. We definitely would This is the most British wake-up call we've ever had. We have spent, of the last 58 minutes, I would say probably 40 of them discussing the combination of scones, how they go together, what they are. I mean... It's public service broadcasting, Craig, isn't it? Uh, yeah. But I, I love seeing, uh, reading your take on them as well. You know, as you're looking down and seeing what I'm doing, I'm just having a look at the comments coming up as well. Um, yeah, <laughs> I love, love seeing what you're saying. It's funny. Funny good to see. See, Craig, you have the Facebook open sometimes. Have you got the Facebook open? Have you uh, got no, the... not at the moment. Oh, because see, Craig, see, I own, I get... 
I get the uh, comments sent to me. Sometimes Craig's having a good old rifle through all of them. Uh, talking of baking, Erin, uh, uh, who's head of production here, she made whoopie pies for her neighbours earlier in the week. I've never tried them, but <gasps> I would love to. Do you know why they're called whoopie pies? Now, I'm not sure this is fact. How I understand it is that they are from, uh, they're an Amish dessert, Craig. Right. Uh, and uh, the Amish women would bake them and put them into their husband's lunch boxes. And when they open them, they go, whoopee! So they call them whoopee pies. Really? I hope that's true. I'm pretty sure I it's true. That's they true. are like a cross between a sort of biscuit and a. They're like a biscuit and a. Cross between like a biscuit and a meringue, I guess, aren't they? They're sort of a very crumbly biscuit with beautiful buttercream filling in them. But see, that's I think what they I are think. heavenly, Craig. I've never ever tried them. Never, never tried had one. them. I'd like to, but never tried them. Mm. Mm. Apparently, rowies are the same as butteries. I don't know what a buttery is either, do you, Craig? But like, it's just a ve very, um, it's not like a flatbread, but a buttery is made just out of butter and, f butter and flour and uh, salt. So it's like and a juicing. butter, flour and salt. So it's that like, a, like a pancake. Uh, no. More of a roll texture. A roll. A roll, really flat. Um, Melted butter. Uh, no, it'll just be. It won't be. Well, I, I don't actually know if it's melted <laughs> or if it's um, hard butter. Who knows? I don't know. If anyone else can spread any more uh, light on that, are they from Aberdeen? Apparently, quite. I've never been to Aber Aberdeen. Yeah, Aberdeen from Aberdeen, mm. Granite City. Yeah, I really want to go to, what is the place that's near where you're from, Craig, where they have the new Victorian Albert Museum? The what museum? The V&A. Dundee. Dundee. I really want to visit Dundee. It's nice. Is it a nice place? Yeah, they're, they're over recently years, they've uh, spent a lot of time and money revamping, certainly down the, the waterfront on the River mm. Tay. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got the V&A, and obviously we have the Discovery ship from Captain Scott. Wow. Um, going to Antarctica. I, got I can that feel right. a little Scottish tour coming on this summer, Craig, as, uh, I mean, international travel, international travel international travel resumes. Happy Hug Day, everyone, as well. I we're know. allowed to hug our friends and families in the UK today. We need to exercise caution, though, is what we're being told. We do. Hug cautiously. I haven't... I've had one hug today. Just one. Just one. Um, I've had one so far as yeah. well. Just Two, sorry. Two hugs. Two. Okay. So we're not allowed to hug at work, like okay? We have to go out to the road if we want to hug as friends, and then we have to come back in afterwards. That's the way it goes. Them's the rules. We don't make them. Uh, we just abide by them. Oh, well. Um, yeah, two, two hugs. That's two hugs more than we were allowed yesterday. It was. Uh, but yeah, a lot of things going back, a lot of things changing, of course, in the UK today. Uh, we're allowed to meet in groups of up to 30 now outdoors, Craig. So you have 30 people around your garden. Uh, we're allowed to go back inside and have a drink and some food. Um, so yeah. It's a good day here today in the UK. We're celebrating that. It, it is. It is. Things are they're on the move. So what I have done is I have then taken my layers. So I've taken the outside layer and I've cut it into the brown, which is part of the 8x8 eight eight that's coming up in Monday Makers. Same paper pad as the red, and I've done the decorative layer. What I've done is I've lifted it on foam pads. Then within the blue sheet, I've taken the sentiment saying thank you and popped that on with my tacky glue. When it comes to this back layer, what I also had pre-done is cut it in white and similar to the band along the bottom, I've used that to hide any of the workings, plus it's given it a little bit of a drop shadow. Love that, so Craig. Pop that one on there and then what I'm going to do is let's... And of course, are. that Best of British, part of your Get It, Got It Good, which is just not just seeing how busy that is, actually. A lot of you have gone for that in this show. It, it is a really good set here, obviously. Part of the Phoebe fr uh, Freebeat Frenzy that's running at the moment with the Get It, Got It Good. So you can see it right at the bottom of your screen where the 12 by 12 paper and card Get It, Got It Good. Awesome. That would be a great... Imagine someone's done something lovely for you, Craig. You bake them some scones, some sweet ones and some savoury ones as well. And then you pop that very British looking card 
in a little parcel with them. Maybe with some strawberries as well, Craig. Oh, yeah. I mean, that Ooh. is summer in a card right there, isn't it? It is. Summer in a card. So there you go. That's part of what's coming up Monday. Makers with myself and Joe. 7 p.m. here in the UK. 2 p.m. Eastern time. 11 a.m. Pacific time. 74.95 or $84.75. Sure. What's everyone saying at the a lot, moment? A lot of chat about whoopie pies, Craig. Uh, they are, I think I was right actually in what I was saying. So Aisha says, whoopie pies, OMG, a Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, Amish treat. I really want to go to Pennsylvania, Craig. Not sure why. Since the US election, there was a lot of chat about Pennsylvania. And since then, it sparked my imagination. I really want to go to Amish country as well. She says, uh, it's an Amish treat. Chocolate with vanilla is the staple, but my favourite is chocolate with peanut butter. Sounds delicious, Aisha. Pandacraft says, my son said, chocolate spread on scones. That's all you need. George, how does that make you feel? Chocolate spread on scones. No, he doesn't know if he'll go for that. Um, uh, I've made chocolate scones using chocolate spread in the mix. They were nice. Someone's dropped an earring. They were nice, uh, but have to be <laughs> eaten straight away. Uh, <laughs> hi there, Craig, uh, before they go dry, which is fantastic. Do you know what? We're a bit giddy. I feel like my sugar, blood sugar levels are peaking just at the chatter of all of this, uh, all these cakes. Let's get our mouths watering as well, because you've been sending in some gorgeous pictures. Look at what Anne's made, Craig. Look at oh. that. It looks like it's come straight off the Great British Bake Off. It does. And made this for her son's birthday, which is gorgeous. It's a banana and chocolate cake. That. With a white chocolate and raspberry buttercream. Amanda's been busy in the kitchen as well. <gasps> cheesecake. Love a bit of cheesecake, don't you, Craig? I do indeed. Oh. Look, and that looks like my ideal heaven cheesecake. Mmm, it does indeed. Everybody sent a few pictures in. Look at these unicorn ice cream cone cakes. Beautiful. Ooh. Wonderful. Love that. Oh, Craig, have you ever had a pound cake? I have. Oh, how about a 7-up pound cake? 7-up. <gasps> Let's have a look at those. Amazing. I love them. Ooh. They look amazing. And Ebony's done some gorgeous biscuits as well. Uh, Ebony, Ebony's quite a glamour. She's a glamazon, isn't she, our she Ebony? Is what indeed. a gorgeous lady. I love it. She's a super queen. Thank you for sending those in, Ebony. And she's even done, uh, these are actually Lorna Jane's, these next ones. She's got sent us in some uh, bickies. We do love a biscuit. They're ginger snaps. I think they are awesome. Really, really beautiful. Mary Kay Knoll has sent us this one in. Uh, this next one just here. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, that a lemon and blueberry zucchini bread, courgette bread for you guys uh, in the UK. Love the look of those. And that's the last one. I'm going to say you can keep getting them into us or keep letting us know. Uh, what I want to do is I, I feel like I need a moment just to calm down and just think about cream buns or something. Uh, whilst we do that, let's take a breather. Let's remind you uh, about some of the options when it comes to shipping and also all the details of our fantastic club. had to make some changes to our shipping charges and we want to keep you informed. With continued pressure on domestic shipments around mainland US, we've had to temporarily increase the cost of our regular 6 to 10 working day standard shipping service from $9.99 to $12.95 and our free shipping threshold from $100 to $125. We also have some really great news to tell you. We've introduced a brand new shipping service called Express Delivery. This is a fully tracked door-to-door -door service which takes three to seven working days and costs $19.95. This option means you'll get your crafty goodies in your hands sooner, meaning less waiting and more crafting. We're also upgrading delivery services for our gold and platinum Club Inspire members who will now receive priority delivery on all of their orders. And if that wasn't enough, we've upgraded these orders to our new express three to seven day service. Your patience and understanding throughout this very busy time has been amazing. So we'd just like to say a huge thank you and we look forward to chatting to you again very soon. Welcome to Club Inspire, the crafters companion community where you can feed your crafty obsession. Join our fantastic loyalty club today and receive 20% of your first order. We'll also give you 250 points to help get you started. Other benefits of joining Club Inspire include 
exclusive special offers and discounts for Club Inspire members only, exclusive sneak peek previews of brand new product launches, and of course the Club Inspire community group on Facebook, where you can access exclusive content such as downloads, offers and inspiration, and of course you can chat and share your makes with other members. You'll receive one point for every pound, dollar or euro you spend. And the more points you receive, the more benefits you'll unlock. So what are you waiting for? Sign up, join the club and start rewarding yourself today. What are you waiting for? Absolutely, make sure uh, you get joined up. Uh, I've had two big coffees now, Craig, uh, and all the talk of these baked goods as well. I'm in a very giddy mood today. It's going to be a great day, it really is. Helen Moore says, I love the best of British paper pads. I'm just waiting for my tri-blend set to arrive to use the stamps. Mm. Uh, if you want a great deal on the tri-blend brush pens, it was a wonderful one on uh, Second Chance Sunday just yesterday. We gave you a discount and you got the free Sarah Buddy bag as well. That deal's still live over on the website right now. What would you like to take us through next then, Craig? Right, so we're going to go uh, in a slightly different direction here. Now, this is also coming up on Monday Makers, which is part of uh, Phoebe Freebie Frenzy. Now, within this one here, what it works out that you're going to be doing is you're going to be paying for the card making kit that makes the handbags and you're going to be getting the foam pads and the ribbon for free. How awesome is that? It is awesome. Now, within this one here, you're getting over 764 die cut pieces that wow. enables you to make 24 handbag cards. You've got 12 design, you can make two of, the, two of each. Now, this is what you're going to get when it uh, arrives at yours. So, this is what you're paying for. As I say, you get the ribbon and the foam pads for free within this one here. So these are really, really good, very easy to be doing, whether you're a beginner, whether you want to do them with your kids, so that maybe you don't want the die cutting machine out. Maybe you just want simple elements in front of you. Pop them out, all pop outable. You know, they're all, uh, what we say is a uh, die cut. They're all held in with little pips. And what you're going to do within each design, you're going to get two sheets that work for one full design. So on this one here, you have got the main element of your handbag, and then on your other sheet, you've got all the components, Joe, that you can start to build up the handbag. They're double-sided, so any bits that you want to have popping over the edge, you can see how well die-cut that they are. If they are popping over the edge, then you know that you've got that design that you are that are double-sided and it's not going to be left with any white space. So what you would simply do is, let's actually show you a few finished samples. These are just a few as to what you can then be doing. These have all been made in the way that they have been designed, and that's folding over the layer and building them all up. Now, you've got the foam pads, and this is what works really, really well to layer them up. However, if you maybe wanted to do them flat, Joe, you absolutely could do. I, I, I were meant to be going... I were, I'm, <laughs> George, did you just fall asleep on the Zoom button there? What's going on? I'm, I'm thinking, right, okay, okay I thought, it's a bit, a bit too close now. A bit too close now, George. There we go. They're gorgeous. Maybe a little bit too close. Oh, uh, so George was thinking about scones and just zoned out, I think, whilst pressing Zoom, Craig. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, that was funny, George. Don't worry about it. Uh, so, yeah, so you could be using your foam pad. You might want to use glue gel if you've got that instead, or layer them on flat, you know, if you or your tape runner. But what then you can start to do is, well, I don't have a finished sample here, Joe, but if you wanted to just maybe cut this in half, that can go in the front of a card. Doesn't necessarily have to be the concept that you're seeing here all layerable as I see, all die cut for you. Come along, add extra gems or pearls if you want. But do you know what as well, Joe? Including, you get the envelopes as well. Awesome. So you're getting 24 elements. The, en the envelopes are all the same size, but they will fit all the different designed handbags that you've got throughout this set here. So what we're going to do is let's bring in the concept. Now, I've already popped these ones out, and it is simply the case of popping them out. What I like to do is I will like to snip them out with my scissors first or pop them out 
and then just go round the edges and take away the tiny little pips. Alternatively, what you can do, a little nail file, or you've maybe got your little Spectrum Noir file uh, tool, yep. then you can just take away the edges just to smooth off the edges, and that's what I would do, and that's what I've already done with the bits that are already popped out. The comments are still down a baking black hole, Craig, so I thought on that note I'd ask you, what is your favourite, what's your favourite ever baked, like, good? Is there one thing that, like, stands out that you ate once and you just think, man alive, that blew my mind? Uh, I love pineapple upside down cake. Oh, a true 80s classic, Craig. Love pineapple upside down cake. Um, but I, what I like to make as well, periodically, and it is so, so simple and boring, but I love it. Just like a, a, a Victoria sponge or a plain sponge and then drizzle icing over the top. Let nice. it cool and then yeah. just cut up. Basically like little fairy cakes or cupcakes, but in a In, a, I, in a Vicky sponge, nice. Yeah. Yeah, I think a I like. um, best thing I've ever eaten baked wise is a babka. Uh, and a babka is like a, uh, it's, it's very similar to, George, you might know this, a lardy cake. You ever had a lardy cake? Yeah, so it is a, it's basically a cake that's baked with lard. It's actually quite greasy, it's a bit chewy. Uh, but it, I had it when I was in uh, Israel. It's a, um, it's an, it's like an Israeli, a Jewish Israeli cake, and it's like knotted basically, and it has lots of chocolate within it as well. So it's like this really bit like a yum yum kind of thing, but yeah. like twisted, plaited with loads of chocolate in it. Oh, heavenly, absolutely heavenly. Mm, I do like, do like uh, a little cake, a little treat. In saying that though. If I had the choice of a, you know, sweet or savoury, I would tend to probably go for a pack of crisps first. I'm more of a savoury than Me too. Oh, sweet. I'm savoury over. But why go for yeah. a packet of crisps when you can have a cheese and bacon turnover? There you go. That's baking and, and savoury together. Well, that's true. Lovely. You just have them all, can you? Have them both. I know where I'm going for my lunch. Huh? What, what, not right now. You've got well, 14 right minutes now. left. No, no, okay, no. just checking. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> no, not quite now. All that I'm doing at the moment, Joe, is layering them up. Very similar to the form of decoupage because all of them layer up on the design. They all work and uh, complete each other perfectly. I'm using the foam pads, of course. Now the sentiment, we've got a good sizable sentiment. I want a little bit of shape. I'm gonna move that here. We've got a little bit of glare because it is a coated cardstock. Now when it comes to this one, I've popped one foam pad at each side and in the middle I've layered up with two. So I'm creating that bit of a dome. Then this one, I'm going to come in and pop this one here. Then these bits, Joe, that I've also popped out, these are also like little decoupage bits. So I'm going to have a play and position them and start to layer up and see where I want to pop them. Brilliant. Christine Coppenrath says, about to dig into strawberry tart. No, I'm not sharing. I don't blame you. Uh, Christine. Uh, do you know what I do love, Craig? A tart of citron. Mm. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, lemon tart. But really, that really sharp, zingy lemon curd on the yep. crumbly pastry reminds me of, uh, it's like a Parisian holiday is what it reminds me of. Pamela says, I wonder if I have the makings of muffins. Uh, I'm so hungry. Might have to bake some between shows or some cranberry bread. Wendy's making a rhubarb crumble today. We are in prime rhubarb season at the moment, aren't we? So great to do that. Michelle Parsons said I created a recipe for blueberry cinnamon cookies. The recipe mm. is now in a number of community and school cookbooks. They are so good. Mm. Marsha says pretty and just over one pound each a handbag. Great value here with this. It is. Absolutely. How many do these make, Craig? So 24 in total. They make 24 in total. Well, actually less than a pound a handbag. 20 pounds or if you are a Club Inspire Platinum member, of course. Uh, Ebony says thank you for the kind words, boys. You're more than welcome, Ebony. Uh, Michelle says this show has been an absolute delight. Um, and Laura says, did I hear something about cheese and bacon turnover? OMG. Yeah, so, uh, oh, that's my, that's my go-to, you know, if I'm going to the, uh, what, you know, the well-known bakery, we've got them around the corner, Craig. Uh -huh. The little cheese and bacon turnover pastry thing. Is that the name I sometimes get called? What, cheese and bacon turnover? No. <laughs> Um, you guys in America will sometimes call me Greg. Why? I don't know. Um, I know uh, Taylor from here, she calls me Greg. Mm. Yeah, I, oh, I, don't, I don't know why. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. Does not no, bother me. Call me what yeah. you want. Call me what you want. That's what I say. 
But then, as long as it's nice, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I love baked stuff so much. You know that my nickname at, sec at primary school was Pie Craig. Just was pie. It? Just Nothing pie. Nothing on its own. Not like chicken pie or, you know, pie belly or pie face. Just pie on its own. Chicken and asparagus pie. Mm. Oh, mashed potatoes. Chicken, leek and bacon pie. Maya could go back to my old primary school name and me and Debbie could be known as pie and fish. Or fish pie. Or fish pie. Yeah. There Ooh, we are. Like That's our new double well. act. We are uh, forever known now. Debbie, if you're watching us, fish pie. Fish pie. <laughs> I believe we've got something that I'm told is going to be really jealous about. Oh, oh I've just seen it on uh, the side screen. Helen. <gasps> so Vicky sponge, as we call it, uh, but with uh, oh, cream on top and chocolate dipped strawberries. Do you know, Craig, that a Victoria sponge traditionally should only have jam? Should it? Nothing else. To be a sponge. The Women's Institute uh, definition of a Victoria sponge is a sponge with just Jam, raspberry jam. That is gorgeous. But it tastes gorgeous as well. Mm. But it tastes absolutely lovely. I like it with buttercream and jam, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, no, I do like it as well. But I am also, uh, as I was saying earlier, I do like a good, when I say, when I say plain sponge, you know, it's still flavoursome, but with some icing over the top. Nice. Because as I've said on a multitude of times, Joe, I do love a good old birthday cake, you know, mm. um, with the, the jam, the sponge and icing over the top. The other thing is, well, make sure you go back. We had the lovely Christina on last week, didn't we? Was it actually, what day was it last week? Was it, mm, uh, I think it was Tuesday last week, Craig, wasn't I think it? it was, wasn't it? It was Tuesday last week. Uh, yeah, she was on. She was talking about baking, showing us some of her cakes. Go back and watch that back if you want any time over on our website. She makes amazing coffee, Christina, as well. I mean, I've had two very large, very strong ones this morning, keeping me going. She basically, without Christina, I feel, you know, getting us caffeinated and feeding us at lunchtime, I feel like, you know, the place had come to a halt, Craig. I, I think, yeah, I would uh, agree with you when it comes to everyone here in the office. They'd all agree with you as well. You all like your coffees. I, I do as well, but I tend to have tea more than coffee. But here we go. So here's just one of the handbag. Now, within the set, it enables you to make two like this. However, you will see at the side here, these are all additional elements that came within that sheet that I've not used yet. So you can still use them within your handbag, or you can then start to use them uh, as accessories when it comes to other cards. Either these ones here, They've got the little slot, so if you want to use that ribbon, because you're getting the ribbon and the foam pads free within this set here, you're able to feed the ribbon through and use it as an additional tag. Like a but bag charm. It is, uh, yeah, mm. exactly like that, isn't it? But that's where, within that set, 764 elements, die cut elements in total. It enables you to make 24 handbags. There's 12 designs and you can make two of each. And this is where you're getting your uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, that was right enough there. Just uh, question myself there. That's your handbag collection. You're getting the foam pads. You're getting the ribbons for free. It's part of our free, free be frenzy. Twenty-four ninety-nine here in the UK. Twenty-nine ninety-five for you guys stateside. What we're going to do as well, come Monday makers, which is this is going to be showcased on seven p.m. here in the UK, two p.m. Eastern time, eleven a.m. Pacific time. Also going to have another look at them as well, and we'll do a little bit of a different take when it comes to what you could be doing with the handbags, Joe. Absolutely wonderful. Uh, Four Holiday says, I love all this food talk. I think it makes every show better, but now I'm hungry. We normally get some sort of food talk in every show, don't we? But this one has been all about the food talk. It is, in, it is World Baking Day, so I feel like we're allowed to. Uh, Matt Four Harp says, good morning, guys. Have the chinozzery. <laughs> they've spelt it out phonetically in a way that's not how I'd say it but anyway haven't used it yet but I will soon what I would say is if you've been making things I know some of you uh, got the chinoiserie when it was uh, chin chinoiserie when it was launched uh, over on HSN I know that um, it's recently launched on Creating Craft as well if you have been making things I'd love you to send them to me but not until our launch day show send them to me in the launch day show and we'll share the finished things that you've been making with them there Lorna Jane says, Lorna Jane says I like fruit cake but I don't make them as the hubby and neighbours don't like it I need a fruit cake buddy Lorna Jane where are you I mean you're always welcome to send me a slice anytime uh, Wendy says my favourite cakes are lemon drizzle and coffee and walnut and the best bit is my husband doesn't like either 
whoop whoop got them all to myself must admit coffee and walnut is up there as one of my absolute favorites it really really is banana bread as well since we were on lockdown uh emma's emma who uh, works in the office her mum craig bakes banana bread and a whole host of other gorgeous treats uh, that she was sending in over lockdowns and i kid you not it is the best banana bread it's is like that? It's like sent direct from the, for the Roman gods. It is unbelievable. Oh, I once had three inch book, three inch book, three one inch slices one day. Oh, it's so, so good. We don't tend to, now we've got this new studio uh, sort of area over here. We're quite self-contained now, aren't yeah. we over here, Craig? So it means we don't get to go over to the office really any much anymore. So we don't get cake. I feel like we should make like cake pilgrimages over there on a Friday, see what we can mm -hmm. find. Here's a very, very, very quick question before we show you this collection one last time, Joe. So you go to spread your banana bread and you've got some butter and there's crumb toast on it. Do you just go ahead with that? I don't put anything on my banana bread. Oh, okay then. That answered that question then. Here we go. Let's have a look at these ones. You're really not letting that go, are you? The crumb thing. That's going to be, that's going to no. become a thing. Oh, no, no. Um, here we go. So this is what's coming up in launch day. So the chinoiserie collection here. Now within this one here, 59 elements in total. That's including your 48 sheets of your 12 by 12 double sided paper pads. Now we've got our little toppers here already done and created for you. You just need to peel them off, pop them on top of your cards. Then we've got these gorgeous stamps. So you can see them here with the beautiful birds. So you've got your sentiments and you've got your uh, additional icons as well, simply round the side. So use them separately or in conjunction with each other. Then we've got the Chinoiserie Temple stamp. Love that one. That's gorgeous, one of my favourite elements, Craig. Uh, yeah, yeah, I can see that being one of my favourites as well over time, uh, being able to use that as a separate one and colouring them in lots of different ways. And then what we're doing is we are going into the oriental lanterns. Now these are the stamp and dies, not just any normal dies. Instead of it being one full die that's going to cut out your, your actual uh, lanterns, what you're able to do is create edibles if you want to. Then we use this one within our demo, so that one here being the peony wreath stamp and die set. On here we've got our chinoiserie frame die. Two dies there, cut into your card, out your card six by six embossing folder and as i said earlier on it's a uh, anything but standard when it comes to this one just meaning it's not a 3d element then we're going into our 48 sheets of double-sided papers here all of these so elegant i know that sarah and joel go in with a lot more detail during the two hour launch day show coming up at 3 p.m here in the uk of course uh, 10 a.m eastern time 7 a.m pacific time but let's just show you a few different things that you can be making. Try blends. Maybe you want to do your uh, colouring pencils. Maybe you want to do your sparkles. This is a prime example where you can do completely different colours, depending if you're using the same image or different one. If you didn't see the start of the show or towards the start of the show, this is where I would say, and I've gone out on a limb and said every single colour or style or texture of cardstock will go with this collection. It's your brights, it's your pastels, it's your deep tones, it's your matte-tastic, it's centura pearl, glitter, all these different tones are going to work within this collection here. Loads and loads and loads of different things that you can be creating and making when it comes to this collection. Part of the brand new selection from Nature Garden Chinoiserie set coming up, as I say, with Sarah and Joe on launch party. Paper pad, you've got your dies, you've got your stamps, you've got your folders, you've got a great selection of different components within this full set. And do you know something? I've just flippantly throughout the last hour and a half said the price it's unbelievable it's unbelievable club members craig i couldn't i mean i've had to double check this club members actually uh, platinum members are saving more than they're spending 43.99 or 71.99 it is it unbelievable. is mind-blowing hmm. mind-blowing for that one there really really good there uh, just to say um as well if you are uh wanting to get more of the paper pads do get in before uh, christine mahoney gets in because <laughs> i am pretty sure 
uh, she's going to be popping a lot of them into the basket as well. And you know what? If for whatever reason you can't reach to the full collection just now, that paper pad, as Joe says, one of his favourites and potentially it's one yeah, of mine absolutely. as well, Joe. Just to say as well, it's Peg Conrad's birthday today. So happy birthday, Peg. I hope you have a wonderful day. Happy birthday, Peg. Have a lovely day. Yep. And uh, as we say, uh, have a lovely day, everyone else. Uh, I'm away at Dot Home for a few hours and do a few little bits of prep before I come back for the last show of the day. I always like to uh, refer to it as the last show of the day here in the UK. Obviously, it'd be night time. But what we have got in between that, as we've gone over a moment ago, that gorgeous collection here on launch day with Sarah and Joe. So that, of course, will be 3 p.m. here in the UK, 10 a.m. Eastern time, 7 a.m. Pacific time phenomenal no other words and then i'll be back again with monday makers so we'll have a look at the handbags again we'll have a look at the interchangeable sentiments again we'll do a little bit of scrapbooking with our large word dies as well joe we might even slot in a little bit of celine dion as well when it comes to the <gasps> that's demos. the power of love craig it's the power of love that's the way it is right you i'm going to drive all night to see you soon but i will see you again at the end of the day for monday maker 7 p.m here in the uk three 2 p.m. Eastern Time, 11 a.m. Pacific Time. Got there. See you then. Bye.